I don't know if I'll show it in video or not, but I can hook up the trailer to my truck. I'm leaving tomorrow morning at 4.30. Me and a buddy of mine, we're gonna head up. I gotta drop off a truck cab for a guy in Chupanacity, and then we're heading over to New Brunswick. Uh, we're gonna go see Maritime Farmer. We're gonna pick up uh, a tractor that he's got over there that belongs to us. So, yeah, it's gonna be uh, kind of a two-day thing. I'm not sure if I'll make much of any video on the trip or anything like that, but I'll have a video for you guys for sure when we get back, uh, walk around to the tractor and all that, so. Morning, guys. We'll be able to see much. It's so dark anyway, but just fired up the truck. It's about 25 after 4 in the morning. And we're going to get on the road and head up to get our new tractor, I guess. So, yeah. Update is along the way, I guess. Well, we made it to Central. Got rid of our truck cab, thankfully. So anyway, I found this cool thing. Six row corn head on it. I don't know if it's used or just in for service or what. Usually when they're in for service, they're over there. But uh, it's a 6950 John Deere self-propelled harvester. Pretty cool unit. It's like the corn head folds down on the edges for the extra row. Kind of neat. Not something you see every day. Anyway, a bunch of other used stuff around and other nifty things. So we're getting a little bit closer to New Brunswick anyway. We'll that'll be their next stop. <laughs> I think I got some junk hardware on there. Oh, I was thinking of that on the drive home. I raced on this, you know. <laughs> you know, it has to come up. <laughs> 
Oh boys, we got her on. Fine machine it is, Case 380CK. So we just gotta chain her down and uh, we'll head out back for home in the morning. But uh, we'll hang out with the maritime farmer a bit, I guess, and see what's what here. And uh, yeah. Rescue dog. All right, man. We're gonna head out. Take care, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything. No problem. Everybody, check out Maritime Farmer on YouTube. <laughs> See you guys. Well, so far so good. Tractor's still following us. Just stopped for a fill up here in Port Hawkesbury A and W. So headed the rest of the way home now. Well, guys, you can't see anything again. Not much other than anyway, but made her home. I'll give you a walk around of the tractor in the morning when it's light out. So, see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. It's daylight now. So, I guess we'll have a look at the tractor that's sitting on this trailer. All right, here it is. 1975. I looked up the serial number. 1975 Case 380 CK. Construction King. So, this thing was a industrial loader tractor. They sold them without the loader as well. Uh, different styling and they sold them with uh, a box scraper on the back which this one doesn't have I'm not sure if it did originally or not but uh, anyway so basically these here are an 885 David Brown with a shuttle transmission and uh, a few other little minor differences but that's the basics of them they're set up a little bit lower than an 885 like lower profile they got a 14.924 rear tire on it instead of a 14.928 or 13.628. So they sit quite a bit lower than the 885s, but it does have the full three point hitch on it and everything. Um, these only have a single speed PTO on them. I think the 885s were two speed and maybe single was optional or something like that. But uh, the 285s that we had both had two speed rear PTOs on them. This has a single, just 540, that's it. So the loader is a really heavy industrial unit. There's the bucket there, that's pretty heavy duty too, like the size of the pins on it, right? It's pretty big, a lot bigger than what's on the 885 loader we have, the, uh, the 55 case loader. So these had a front mounted hydraulic pump on them, which was 17, I think 17 and a half gallons per minute. So the loader's super quick on it. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a neat thing. They're not all that common. So this one needs a little bit of work. The injection pump needs to be redone on it. it needs injectors. Uh, and just obviously some cosmetic work I guess but overall it's pretty straight so it'll be a future project I guess maybe next winter or something like that so anyway right now we got to get it off the trailer and uh, just stick it away somewhere I guess Lift your loader up, let 